I can't just be talking to a kucha so by the way worms you need to oil your elbows <laughs> okay hi guys and welcome back to my channel <laughs> this is my first sit down video so this is so 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 exciting and i have a studio audience you want to come say hi <laughs> oh, <my> job breaker. <laughs> my job breaker. anyway so um first of all guys if you like the t-shirt i'm wearing if you guys if you know you know if you know you know you know this is for all the haters please just release me yeah so these shirts they're going to be up for sale so you can pre-order with sushi collections i'm going to link her instagram in the description box and you can get a nice t-shirt like me they come in two types should i show the other type where is it now let me get it once this is the other so this is this is for i was gonna say this for the men but it can be for anyone and this is the other font we have it in very cute i don't have a camera so i use my phone to vlog and to get the questions so because of that i wrote down all the questions the anonymous ones and the ones that i was able to um see who it was i just wrote them all down no no names no nothing i'm just gonna answer them as they come i have my little drinky drink cheers <laughs> so let's get to the questions okay question one of course how is it financing your bills now that you moved out and are still in school how do you afford your lifestyle um i don't <laughs> uh you uh, your answer is in the question i'm still in school so it's not practical to actually um finance my lifestyle but i thank god for my parents yeah it is what it is man i'm not gonna lie to you and say join forex buy this bitcoin i don't have money me i'm just i'm a dependent <laughs> but yeah i thank god for my um parent support and yeah those guys are good to me man so that's how i afford my lifestyle i am two people's broke best friend <laughs> yep um okay <laughs> how did you meet your boyfriend we met on tinder have you decided whether you will quit ksl or not if not how are you preparing for orals thank you for that question that's etiquette for orals if you're watching this and you're doing orals when they ask you a question you say thank you for that question <laughs> I'm not gonna drop out you know i'm just gonna push through today is the 30th so that means my orals are in literally 31st today is 31st oh my god anyway yeah so today today is a i have 16 more days to my oral exam from my oral exam i think things are gonna be more chilled submitting project work is happening next week so i've not dropped out of ksl i'm not gonna drop out of ksl i'm just gonna push through how am i revising for orals um i'm in a tuition's group called my Tuition hub and i'm just reading honestly all i'm doing is reading i'm just reading that's all i'm doing and yeah, and I'm just answering questions, um, meeting with my friends, group discussion, blah, 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 Basically, so I'm not dropping out of KSL, so yeah. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I need to do these questions. I'm getting thinini, heavy, heavy ones. Okay. Have you ever thought of a liposuction or gastric bypass? I'm constantly thinking of doing a lipo, not conclusive though. Okay. Um, have I thought of doing liposuction? I think everybody has thought about doing cosmetic surgery. I am a hundred percent pro cosmetic surgery. If I had the money to get a liposuction and all those things, I would never even go to the gym. <laughs> I would never go to the gym, honestly. No, but actually, that's a lie. Because I think the gym does more than just weight loss. It's very like mental and yeah, I think it's very mental for me. And I just love the gym. However, if I had the money to do a liposuction, I'm doing the lipo that same day. If I get a good doctor, if I get, I'm doing it. Imagine this life is too short to, to have to nini. And when I do it, I'm going to tell you. And if I do a gastric bypass or if I do whatever, I'm going to say it. And I'm going to do it. If I had the money, why not? Honestly, use your money how it makes you happy. I believe in whatever. If you want to increase your boobs, increase them. If you want to do what 
do them right like yeah so i've never i have i thought of like post-action yes if i would do it yes if i had the money definitely without a doubt would do it that's in the favorite thing about yourself <laughs> i don't know <laughs> my favorite thing about myself is how i maintain my relationships even if sometimes it's not perfect it's an area where you can always grow mm -hmm. and there's always potential for growth i don't think you can stop growing in that area so i think that's my favorite thing mm -hmm. and i'm willing to learn i'm willing to hear from my friends and yeah that's my favorite thing about myself i think so and just because i'm just fun and happy you know <laughs> that's a good thing to be <laughs> monthly girlfriend allowance what do you think about that that would be amazing honestly that would be so amazing why not why not mm -hmm. give me an allowance why not honestly that's that's a no-brainer how are you always so bubbly do you ever go through sad days today is a sad day <laughs> just today just today i've had a sad day anyway jokes how are you ever so bubbly i think i i think i get when i get sad i get very very sad mm -hmm right i get really really sad when i'm sad however i also feel like when i'm sad the the first thing i do when i'm sad when i'm sad so, so <laughs> the first thing i do when i'm sad is always call someone i think the people around me um really help in just making me feel happier i can honestly call you you might not even know how sad i am but my friends and i will call each other to get each other out of bed you know i honestly just call my friends or just chat to my parents when i'm feeling sad sometimes they may not even know i'm sad but me just chatting with them if they were in my situation would they be as sad as me no and would they want me to be this sad because of this particular thing no so what am i gonna do i'm just gonna try and my dad is always telling me you're always in control with what you make you let make you happy and what you let make you sad mm -hmm. if something makes you sad or has potential to make you sad it's easier said than done but i also believe that you have somewhat control in what you allow mm -hmm. to make you sad mm -hmm. or what you allow to make you happy and my mom always says don't sweat the small stuff that's how i manage but let me tell you when i'm sad <laughs> I can stay in bed literally. I think the longest I've stayed in bed sad, okay. I stayed in bed for a whole week sad. I didn't leave bed. Just use the toilet and to eat. Best believe I didn't leave bed. When I get sad, some, but it's been long since I've been super, super sad. I guess God has been faithful. But yeah, actually, not I guess. God has really been faithful. But yeah, when I'm sad, I get really, really, really super, super sad. Yeah, let me belabor your point. What motivates me i think what motivates me is always going to be the potential to have a better life you know like you can think you're doing so well but like you can actually be better you know and i don't think there's anything you can't be better in sometimes i'm in the gym and i feel like i'm so demotivated but i'm like you know what if i'm used to lifting this what motivates me is that i'm moving forward to being able to lift more and even just seeing people who are doing better sometimes it's so motivating to be like there's actually better to achieve that's the one thing off my mind that i can say motivates me other than that um just i don't want to disappoint my parents honestly that's the only thing that motivates me i don't want to disappoint them okay i feel like i'd be so sad if i disappointed them yeah there thanks i put them for myself i really hate it <laughs> what did you have worst day you've been on <laughs> i'm gonna say this once and for all and i'm not gonna give this story again i think you know what i'm gonna do one day i'm gonna do um a sit down video on my tinder escapades because you guys let me tell you before i settled down i joined tinder i think in july 2019 let me tell you i had a ride on the fire app the worst date i've been on has to be a guy from tinder very attractive very nice but very boring very dark and he's not dark skin like dark <laughs> and this guy and i've read i think i've said this on my insta stories before this guy took me for some cocktails and then i remember just we were sitting at the top at the corner oh my god <laughs> i'm telling you it was so dark and then we had like one and a half pictures of long island this guy was talking he's like what if we die now what if <laughs> what if we die now what if, what if can you imagine 
in the afterlife. I'm like, nigga, I'm drunk. Please. <laughs> During the dates, this guy, we finished the date. And like, first of all, I'm so happy it's over. So we go downstairs, cause that club, I couldn't watch the toilet. So we go downstairs and I'm really, 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 really pressed. So I even give him a bag, I'm like, just hold my bag for me, let me go pee. So I go, I pee, and then in the middle of the toilet, I was like, oh my God, I got a mini heart attack. Like, what if I find him? He's gone. So I think, I think that put him off because that was when he was paying the bill. I don't know what put him off because when, when he got to the date, he's like, at least the pictures don't lie you know he was giving me those vibes and then when he's dropping me to my uber he just told me um i really hope you know that this is not this is nothing <laughs> he was like after being dark to me i should have been the one dumping this guy but he's like i hope you know that this is nothing i hope you know that um <laughs> i hope you know I'm not looking for anything serious with you. I'm not looking for this. This is it's been good, but I just hope you know this is nothing. I was like, yeah, I was so hard. I was like, okay, yeah, I know that. But <laughs> I was so hard. Basically, he friends on me before I went home. And I never ever spoke to him after that. I was like, you know what? This guy blocked. But block up, block that's up. literally the best of my tinder ex ex except my current boyfriend that's one of the best my tinder experiences have been wild they've been so wild <sighs> but here we have come far the best it's one of my best because zingi necessarily <laughs> what is your greatest fear my greatest fear is always going to be losing the people that i love that stuff scares me makes me sick how do your parents feel about you dating um okay i guess i think they're okay with it yeah i hope they are are you guys mom and dad tell me in the comments <laughs> okay listen who is a little girl to you you have such an amazing bond girl girl hey let me tell you those nine months what crazy no. 16 hours of labor hmm. when you see your mother please respect her because us we don't go through anyway i'm just joking i don't have a child she's not my daughter all of you have always and you've asked me since 2017 is she your daughter she's not my daughter i don't have children yet, yet. how much do you spend on eggs and avocado a month this is a question from mayeka <laughs> A that's a funny question you spend, no you guys don't even know Kwanza, let me tell you Niger eats eight eggs the goodness is he buys the eggs no. thank god he buys the damn eggs because i can't imagine eight can you imagine eight eggs every morning because he only eats two yolks and six egg whites it's so painful throwing i wish i had a dog to give the egg yolks or a, or a cat yeah but yeah this is me removing questions from my dead fishes <laughs> Imagine it's not glass. It's not. Imagine it's not. It's not. Yeah, feeling like the joyride. Anyway, <laughs> why are you so awesome? This is Kamena Goro. Thank you. Love you. Would you rather live without sugar in the world or salt? I think salt, cause I don't even eat much salt. What is your favorite color? Um, pink. But these days I'm more of a, like a nude. I like. It depends honestly. I love me some pink. But I, it's pink. Okay, pink. <laughs> What's your idea career? Ideal career? I don't dream of labor. Honestly, I don't. My ideal career is to travel and to, to get money in my bank account from somewhere. I don't want to work. I'm pretty. <laughs> what is your gym motivation? It's so hard for some of us. What is your routine? And encourage us. Please, please, please. Yeah. I just want to start running. You want to start running? Yeah, Let so me encourage you today. Yeah, so <laughs> hey, okay. Anyway, you guys. First of all, I'm not an expert. Nowhere close. I just, I just started going to the gym. But then you know, my first time in a gym. My first time actually training was in 2019. I trained for, and from 2019. Let me tell you guys my gym, gym journey. 2019. Then COVID came then we couldn't go to the gym anymore after when covid came i used to work out virtually with my trainer and i used to go hard you guys i used to go hard like i lost so much weight during quarantine 
then after that i fell off fell off completely in 2020 fell off fell off fell off i used to still work out at home like i'd just be working out a bit it just to work for me a bit but not not great then i went back to the gym in september 2021 all the way till january yeah september i did september october november hey december chini of course december chini then january went back hard 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 then february chini then <laughs> march i didn't even step in the gym for one day one day i didn't step in the gym and then after march now um completely everything took a turn around in may i now i've been consistent still since may um what's my motivation um apart from wanting to i'm not crazy about weight loss at all at all at all at all i think i've been okay with everything i've been because i've been active i've been whatever i'm not crazy like whatever the thing is when you start losing weight you really now want to just keep losing and losing and losing and losing and losing but i'm also always going to train myself to not hate my previous self what motivates me a lot is um first of all two people my mom and my boyfriend those guys are crazy yeah anyway so yeah i um, they motivate me a lot my mom has literally transformed herself into this fitness junkie who as in sometimes i look at her she works out seven days a week if there were eight days a week she would work out for nine <laughs> but yeah but yeah and also nigel really motivates me i think he motivates me more in um adversarial kind of way like he's always giving me the advice that i need he just makes it so logical like i remember the first two weeks of going back to the gym can be really hard so disheartening you're always bloated you don't know the right things to eat you're just you're just in limbo you know but he's always like let me tell you once it's not hard and i'm just like what are you he's like oh tell you for sure. <laughs> it's not hard i'm like great <laughs> it's not hard and for real even when he says it and he makes it so practical and he's like just eat this just don't eat this just be disciplined just do that and whatever also like even in small things most of the time especially when you're plus size you may not look the best doing workout let me tell you if you meet me in the gym i can literally run because you're vulnerable you don't look the best you don't look like um a kardashian doing your workouts you know and sometimes you want to be in the gym so i remember back in the day i used to be those people for i have to go to the gym at this time because i couldn't go to nowadays i go to the gym at any time right <laughs> i go to the gym at any time because i really don't care and nigel always telling me you always have to speak to the little girl inside of you who is making you feel like you can't you can't be around people and these days and he's like you have to remember who the hell you are you know go there do your workout even if you're not doing a perfect thing you're doing you're doing perfect for yourself because you're doing your best so if you're doing your best nothing should um should deter you it's really not as hard as it looks <laughs> starting is always going to be the hardest part starting is hard and disgusting and just annoying it's so hard but let me tell you once you get into and it doesn't take long to get to the swing of things you get to the swing of things and every single day you just wake up autopilot don't think wake up change go by the time you've changed you've committed you just go and there's no it's not rocket science it's just about getting up and going and also start easy for yourself you know don't because for me like me even with eating i'm not like Ati, i'm not i'm even gonna eat one grape or three what i still eat the way um i desire but you see even when you go to the gym you're not gonna want to eat kfc you're not gonna want to, so you also want to eat healthier but you know instead of changing what you're eating drastically you can also like you know reduce your portions when you reduce your portions you prefer because you know someone who's eating kidogo rice is better off than someone who is eating a big big plate of fruits because that has more calories and you only need to stop eating a lot of calories to lose weight there's no rocket science the more the calories the more the weight gain the less the calories the the, the less the weight gain right the more the weight loss and just make sure you're just being kind to your body but also don't be too kind and don't be don't let your body off the hook all the time also just be disciplined discipline just discipline anyway anyway do you have insecurities hmm um <laughs> yes i think i think okay back in i used to be insecure of course i'd be insecure about my weight but i don't think i'm as insecure anymore i'm actually no you know i'm just you know what 
sometimes I'm just like, imagine I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> I think one of the one of one of my insecurities which I feel like um one of the an insecurity that you can think about, which I also feel like is a bit um of like PTSD is being the loudest in the room mm. that can be an insecurity to me sometimes and being in a place where your outgoingness is not appreciated and people think i mean you know you don't, don't go to a room and start preaching but you know just be just being yourself is not taken as kindly or as receptiveness and i also learned to realize that that's a problem with them mm. and not a problem with me because my personality is going nowhere so just just release me <laughs> As I was saying, that would be my insecurity. It's just trauma, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mary. Insecurities are so overrated. Ah. But I also get insecure when my friends hang out with other friends. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> why do you have why do you have other friends? <laughs> why? <laughs> Pros and cons of a nose piercing. Um uh, I don't know. Me, I just think it looks cool. There are no cons for me. If there were cons, I wouldn't have had a nose piercing. But yeah, no prawns of course. Ati prawns. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Calligram. <laughs> You're so beautiful. I absolutely love your smile and personality. Thank you so, 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 so much. Okay, this question, I got it almost three or four times. Okay. Are you bisexual? Well, yeah. Am I bisexual? No, I'm not bisexual. Do I give bye vibes? No. Be honest. I'm a weird girl who bye. I lie. Anyway, no, I'm not bisexual. I'm straight as they come. But I'm an ally. I am an ally. I don't have the emotional capacity to love another woman. I just don't. But I am an ally. 100%. What made you join Tinder? What made you make me join Tinder? You, I made me. You know, first of all, I've made all my friends join Tinder. Let me tell you, the day I joined Tinder, we were just me, Mario, and Angie. We we're just chilling in the car, just chilling. And then, we're like, see, to tell you, we to turn it. Imagine that I just started swiping. Yeah. Imagine, and it was so fun. I just wanted to just date. And honestly, I feel like I really did. The thing is, Tinder is. Tinder has very many creeps. If you do it the right way, or if you pray the right to the right direction, <laughs> you might have a good experience on Tinder. Honestly, I really, 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 really enjoyed my time on Tinder and Bumble. Went on so many dates, had so much fun, met friends. I even met a guy who even, who even, who I was meant to meet him overseas. I went overseas and he also came overseas that same week. Gay. You remember that guy? <laughs> he came overseas, but Kume was coming to meet his girlfriend, and me was there. Let me tell you guys, <laughs> I was literally thinking Nairobi. London is as small as Nairobi. We were walking in London. My eyes were like this. I was looking for him. <laughs> Kume, this guy. <laughs> hey, anyway. Yeah, what made me join Tinder? I was just ready to date and I actually had such a good time. I would not go back. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I'd not go back. But I think I I think I got what I wanted. Mm -hmm. I got a good guy. Worst memory in high school and law school. So my worst memory in high school has to be um gay. Anyway, it has to be when I was demoted. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I think it should be my best memory because I think that was like my turnaround point. In high school, I was not the sweetest chick. The way you guys are complimenting me here. You're so beautiful. I love your vibes. I love your energy. That was not me. That was not me at all. <laughs> I was literally Cruella. I was so, I was so angry. I was such a B-I-T-C-H. Honestly, I was horrible. I was, okay, why are you agreeing so much? <laughs> um, My worst memory has to be just that feeling. There was... I had so much going on with mm. me at the time. Mm. I was just at 17 year old who felt, I felt like I had so much responsibility. I was too mature for my age. So I never got the time to be, um, to be a young girl per se. I was 17, year, I was 17 years old, but I was moving like a 21 year old, you know? So a lot just made me a BITCH and I was not kind. I was a prefect and I was not kind at all. It was really not good. So my worst memory has to be that because just being that person, but 
i think when i was demoted let me tell you guys i thought i was going to be the head girl and if i was not going to be the head girl i thought i'd even be given like a post like a environmental academic because i was a cop from form one mm -hmm. but let me tell you when they literally they the teachers first of all they made the announcement no cushioning no nothing i found out about my demotion literally during the assembly i wasn't told anything the head girl was announced and i was like that's the last post that's been announced mm -hmm. meaning and i'm there let me tell you i was wearing my black tie for my academic i was academic prefect mm -hmm. black tie with my badge mm -hmm. so you are a post mm -hmm. so your tie tie mean shit mm -hmm. Okay, it a bit of a now. civilian. I had to go to animate Kununua. That's how confident I was. But you know what? Sometimes you leave high school and people leave, like, um, especially people who are younger than you, you leave and they hate you. They're like, thank God she's gone. Mm -hmm. But for me, because I was demoted at the end of form three, mm -hmm. actually, before start term form three, it was so bad. I was so like finish because i i had i wanted to be a prefect to be a leader and guys knew from from one that was going to be the head girl you know so i remember just feeling so bad feeling like wow i even wanted to transfer i remember my dad taking me to see schools i wanted to transfer I wanted to leave i just it was so humiliating but then the spirit i don't even know who that what that's where that spirit came from but imagine it came from it just came inside me and i'm like you know what i'm gonna go back i'm still smart i'm still in clubs i'm still i'm just gonna you know what's the worst that can happen you could to punish and let me tell you god gave me one year and half and and a term to mend all the friendships i had broken and to mend my relationships with people that i messed up so like even the, my the, my people who are younger than me they started realizing she's actually so nice you know my classmates because now we're on the same level it was so humbling in as much as it was not my ideal situation i wanted to be in power but <laughs> some of the friendships i have now from school i would never have made them if i was not demoted and i had the best time i remember magda 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 one day magda came to me because magda is one of those friends even in my BITCH days, she never left my side. You know, we still were not as close, but I don't remember her being like, I mean, I'm gonna be her friend. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I remember there was a day in Form 4, she came to me and she's like, You're so happy. Mm -hmm. I was like, Oh, she's like, Yeah. She's like, I just enjoy being around you. Mm -hmm. She's like, You're so happy. You're so fun to be around. This is new. And you know that I mean, Form 4, you're supposed to be serious. I was doing the things that. I robbed myself off because I was being so overly mature mm -hmm. and whatever. Mm -hmm. So I really, that was my worst memory, but it had the best outcome. Mm -hmm. In law school, I think my worst memory has to be, um, I think first year was not a good memory. I gave a lot of my foundation of my uni into a relationship that didn't help me mm -hmm. and ended up, um, I'm really beating myself here, Naji Piga. <laughs> I gave a lot of my first year actually the whole of my first year to a relationship that didn't help me mm -hmm. and it ended up when you mess up the foundation guys mm -hmm. it's so hard to rekindle i also think it's trickled down to even how i feel about ksl now is because my foundation is so shaky mm -hmm. right now it's mm -hmm. really hard to find footing but we move when we move because now we have better we have better baby <laughs> <laughs> How old are you? I am 24. 24! 24 hours in a day. What uni did you go to? I went to Strathmore University. Okay. Do you live with Nigel? Damn it not. No. <laughs> no, we don't live together. We're just always together. Um, I, everybody just thinks we live together. But you know what? Yeah. Nigel lives really far. But I prefer his damn house i prefer just being there mm -hmm. yeah i prefer it there i love it there i feel like i'm on holiday because it's foul so yeah, they cannot yeah. trip here but <laughs> when i'm there i just feel like I'm, everything is so nice and new nothing else makes sense nothing else makes sense <laughs> i love his house so much mm -hmm. so so much and he just he prefers coming here honestly which is okay for me and even he said in another vlog i feel like also women just make a home a home hey do you snore dm niger and ask him <laughs> don't ask me because i'm asleep usually during i'm asleep so how am i supposed to know who is your best friend jesus jesus 
<laughs> Jesus, oh my God. God is my best friend, actually. God knows more than anything anyone knows about me. So yeah. How do you maintain your friendships? I, ad I admire that about you. And this was asked very many times. Thank you so, so much for that question. The, what I said earlier, I feel like communication and just um just communicating and just being just being a good friend mm. you always know the energy you're going to receive back and i think for me because i've met my friends i met my friends in very um different but very what can i formative times of my life mm. anytime i've met my friends it's either like my close friends like someone like one boy that i've been with mm. in primary which are still formative years mm. or kina magda from high school or even you guys like my, sue and marissa from when i was transition uh, transitioning into like working life those are all formative years so they were these guys have been my friends since like before i st stabilized as an adult you know so I because and I've made my friends my I don't think I have I don't think I have a friend for less than four years or five now we can say f no four yeah four or five I don't have a friend for less than four years even one all my friends are from Nini so my friendships and I think I think I'm also just blessed let me just say I'm just blessed because I don't understand like my friends are just dope I just I just love my friends so much I love you <laughs> Yeah, I love my friends so much. So yeah, it's Nino. Look, when I find the same diesel. Do you remember the time I did for my dad diesel? Oh, yeah. How do you practice self love to yourself? If you know, you know. <laughs> anyway, how do I practice self love to myself? I think um maybe just buying myself something nice or. Some, yeah, bearing myself something nice, skin. I think also just taking care of myself in general. Like doing my makeup, taking care of my skin, taking care of my hair, always making sure my nails are done, just waxing. I think that's my biggest form of grooming. For me, my self care is always grooming. Mm -hmm. The last question my favorite scent. That's the last question. <laughs> my favorite scent has to be um, La Vie Belle by Lancome. I love Lancome. Lancome in general is my favorite. Um, brand and i just love i love la vie belle i love idol and i love poem those three just make me happy they make me so happy i wish please lancome if you're watching this please yeah, so do you have any questions to ask me um um don't feel so on the spot yeah between banana boy and whiskey do you choose i don't know Right now, Banner Boy, because I love it. Do you have any certain new album? Yeah, you made me. I love it with all my heart. But Whiskey still has my heart somewhere. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you got it this far, this was so much fun to do. I think I'm going to do another sit down video with my great studio audience. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. You guys, it's literally the middle of the night. Like, I had a shoot today and i decided i have to shoot this video um another reminder if you liked my t-shirt throughout this um hey ata ungoji. <laughs> <laughs> this was made for me by sushi collection she's in the building sue sue is in the building and she is gonna make you a t-shirt if you like this t-shirt release me quenda <laughs> and yeah and shout out to the hater that actually gave us a business idea you know what we're gonna make money off your hate trust me we are going to make money off your hate thank you guys so much for watching this video thank you for being here all the time thank you for those who have pre-ordered their t-shirts already um i'm just saying thank you in advance but yeah uh, let me show you guys just in case anyone forgot this is the other one thank you for being here don't forget to like comment share and subscribe stay happy spread love